All right, hey guys, today I wanna to talk to you about the uh, Gobi Gear Stuff Sack. Now, I do apologize, I've had this for a while and the company has done some changes since I got it. Uh, so, as far as I can tell, what I have here is uh, no longer on the site, but it's a pretty good representation of what they do. So, uh, if this interests you, when you go to the site, you're gonna to wanna to look for the Seg Sack, uh, and uh, it's the original, is the closest thing they have to it. Uh, when I got this, as far as I know, they only offered one size. Now they offer a 15 liter, 20 liter, and 30 liter. Uh, but I don't know what this best compares to uh, because I haven't been able to find uh, this model on their site anymore. But uh, what this is, is a super lightweight stuff sack. Uh, if this thing weighs more than a couple of ounces, I would be surprised. Um, it's all a nice uh, ripstop material, or at least this version. Uh, I can imagine they've only gotten better since then. Uh, but it has a uh, external compression strap here, uh, which wraps uh, uh, around the body as opposed to compressing it on the ends uh, to form kind of a hobo roll, uh, was the, or the original way this was marketed. Uh, it's got kind of this uh, G-hook ladder lock combination here, so you can completely unthread that if you want. Uh, you can't remove it, it is sewn in on the other side but you don't have to use it as a compression strap. You can let it out. And if you're really packing this thing full, uh, you can completely disconnect it there. It's got a little carrying handle here. Uh, I personally, I'd rather use the compression strap for that, uh, but that's just my thought on that. And then it has a drawstring at uh, both ends. So it's a pass through, right? What's cool about this thing compared to a regular compression uh, sack is that it's kind of a combination compression sack and packing cubes. Uh, so as I open this up here, you'll see it's got internal dividers in here. Now the version I have has five sleeves. Uh, the ones on the website right now have four. Um, so uh, as you can see here, you can kind of use this as packing cubes for your ruck if you want to uh, limit the weight that you're spending on organization. It also works really well if you travel using uh, like a big uh, London Bridge rolling bag. Uh, so if you mostly have PPE, uh, but then you've got some uniforms, this will keep them all in a nice neat package and they won't get lost or torn up by loose Velcro in your, uh, your luggage, which is cool. All right, uh, so I kind of have this set up more for uh, military type travel. If you go on uh, YouTube and look for this, uh, there are uh, a couple other videos. One guy has a whole hammock set up in there, which is pretty crazy. And then the owner of the company actually shows a uh, camping setup. So uh, what we've got in here, and this is just to show you a rough idea of what you could fit in the original model. Uh, we've got a uh, hand warmer here, and then a lightweight uh, soft shell jacket, beanie and gloves. And then, you know, just in case you're going somewhere that requires it, I got a set of PT gear here. And some bulky items. I got some OCP pants. OCP top. And then socks and uniform shirts. Uh, there's also, so there's five compartments in there. There's also a zippered pocket here. Uh, so if you're using this for uniform stuff, you could keep like your blousing bands. Uh, if you wanted to pull off your patches, so they weren't uh, chewing anything up, you put your Velcro backed patches in there. And then uh, this sleeve that that tucks in actually runs the entire length. Uh, so if you had some, some uh, longer, uh, thinner items that you wanted to segregate for whatever reason, maybe you had a copy of your orders or something that you wanted to keep, relatively intact you could fold them in half and stick them in there and they should be in relatively good shape uh, when you get where you're going and uh, i have i think four pairs of socks and four t-shirts in here so you could easily fit a week's worth of uh, uniform items in there assuming that you're not changing your uh, top and bottoms which is doable um, and then like i was saying <clears throat> draw a string on both ends so if you had, you know, socks and underwear in the same tube, uh, you can go on one end, pull out your socks, go on the other end, pull out your underwear. And uh, it works like a champ. 
So yeah, when they originally came out, they, I believe they were just in the screen, uh, but you can get them in all sorts of colors now. I saw they had mossy oak. They've got some brightly colored stuff, so it shows up a little bit better in your ruck. If you're digging around in there, hopefully your, uh, your socks and whatnot and your shirt doesn't uh, blend in as much to the fabric. And then the last little feature on here is it has uh, eyelets here and you can put a, a shoulder strap on there. So, you know, if you're gonna be gone longer than a week, you could use this as your laundry bag too and uh, makes it really easy to carry it down to the laundry room. And if you care about mixing stuff, you can keep your, your uh, brights and your darks and your whites all separated in there and you can hog up three washers in the uh, lodging hotel, uh, laundry room. So there you go. That's the uh, Gobi Gear stuff sack. Uh, highly recommend you check it out. These are super affordable. The 15 liters are like $17 right now. So uh, that's the, the cost of one packing cube. You can't hardly go wrong. And uh, they weigh almost nothing. I mean, there's, there's, there's no free lunch, uh, but this is about as close as you can get to it if you want to organize your clothes in your rock. All right, guys. Thanks for your time.